Mexico City, former Mexican President Luis Echeverria, blamed for some of Mexico's worst political killings of the 20th century, has died at the age of 100, current President Andres Manuel López Obrador confirmed Saturday. In his Twitter account, López Obrador sent condolences to Echeverria's family and friends in the name of the government of Mexico, but did not express any personal sadness about the death. López Obrador did not provide a cause of death for Echeverria, who governed Mexico from 1970 to 1976. Echeverria had been hospitalized for pulmonary problems in 2018. In 2005, a judge ruled Echeverria could not be tried on genocide charges stemming from a 1971 student massacre depicted in the Oscar-winning movie Roma. The judge ruled that Echeverria may have been responsible for homicide, but could not be tried because the statute of limitations for that crime. In 1971, Students set out from a teacher's college just west of the city center for one of the first large-scale protests since hundreds of demonstrators were killed in a far larger massacre in 1968. They didn't get more than a few blocks before they were set upon by plainclothes thugs. The main female characters in Roma are depicted as incidental witnesses to the slaughter when they go to buy baby furniture at a store near the scene. Unwittingly they run across the protagonist's sometime boyfriend, who is depicted as participating in the repression. Roma won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film. Echeverria had battled respiratory and neurological difficulties in recent years. In 2004, he became the first former Mexican head of state formally accused of criminal wrongdoing. Prosecutors linked Echeverria to the country's so-called dirty war in which hundreds of leftist activists and members of fringe guerrilla groups were imprisoned, killed, or simply disappeared without a trace. A motion filed by Special Prosecutor Ignacio Carrillo asked a judge to issue an arrest warrant against Echeverria on genocide charges in the two student massacres, first for the 1968 killings at the Tlatelolco Plaza when Echeverria was Interior Secretary. On October 2, 1968, a few weeks before the Summer Olympics in Mexico City, government sharpshooters opened fire on student protesters in the Tlatelolco Plaza, and soldiers posted their opened fire, 